The man himself, Mr. Hitman, he is live, he is on the air. Hitman, welcome to Runway Radio. Yo, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Hitman. How you talk to me, talk to me. Man, every time me and you get together, it's trouble. Yo, can I? Jay, last time, I think you get me in a little trouble here. Yeah. You understand? Know but um, I, I, I worked my way out of that one. I don't know. I don't. I don't know for this one, but this song might get me in more trouble than anything. That's right. <laughs> you know, this is a big song, and big up to you on it. The name alone, young boy, it relates to so many different people, so many different genres of people out there. <laughs> When I listen to the lyrics, it relates to me. I'm wondering if you wrote this about me. <laughs> oh, so you've been, you've been through this kind of thing already, or you're going through it now because you know, remember, it's always a, a going up factor. So if you're if you're if you're a little older now, maybe the girl gonna be a, the woman gonna be a little more older, you know. So, so you can fall in the young boy bracket still. True, you true. Know? You never know. So tell, <laughs> exactly. So tell me about this one. What was it? Tell me how you came up with this whole young boy song. Yeah, what's the background about? Well, you know what? I've been this song been playing around in my mind for a while. The idea, because I always thought it was funny, you know, and, and it, it went and the relate. I guess some people, I would say a lot of people, but you know, and it's a nice story to tell, you know, and. I wanted to bring it to life and writing the song is like stuff that really happened, you know? It's not the me, it's the other guys and women, you know? And it's just a human when you when you're taking the lyrics and the verse and it, it's a humorous song and it makes sense. You know what I mean? And the music, if you dance to it and it brings the music, we're going to talk about the music. Well, the music kind of bring back the, 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 I wouldn't say old time chutney, but chutney music with a lot of music in it, you know? And um, yeah, and Bounty Target, he did a, a, real, a really good job, a young guy, you know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta say hats off to him. He have a lot in store for him in the future if he keep up that kind of work. Right. And yeah, and it's just, it's just a, humor, a song to just to dance with. So this one, you you said you wrote this song. You know what I mean? On this time. Yeah, so, so some of the girls, as I said, might be a little upset. Some might be happy, a little more happy. <laughs> you know, it's bacchanal. When you like chutney music, when I did Shankar, right? Shankar was just something like this. It's just the truth, you know? Right. A little story. Just uh, one second. We'll be right back with it, man. Hello? So you are back with the hitman yeah yeah boy so so hitman you know that, that, we're talking about old time story here this song you said you know, it was mostly about you let's talk about your young days what was the young hitman like what were some of your experiences well, well this song is definitely one of that experience you know a young hitman you know <laughs> but um yeah i i had a, a my childhood days was like i would say like most most young guys grew up in the villages even in Guyana to Trinidad the village is the same way you know right. and we do you know whilst growing up you know do the same thing we play cricket football um, take a walk in the bush you know hunt something you know sometimes that would the stars and thing long hair thing come out from too you yeah. know what I mean hit, hit man hit man hit man I don't want to hear about cricket and football and fishing <laughs> <laughs> what are you Is talking you? about? I know what you're trying to get at. I don't see. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. I'm wanna... listening. I try to keep it PG. You know, so. When when runway radio is on, when Badman is on, we go rated R. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, G. So okay, let, G. Go ahead. Let me hear what the the young hitman player was. Wait, not a cricket player. Player, <laughs> Not cricket player. The player, player. You know, you know, uh, well, uh, I, I never like to think of myself of a player, seriously. I never like to think of myself of a player because, um, you know, over the years, you know, you, you grow up and you meet a lot of people and things, and, and there's different relationships that you make with different people. You know, everybody, or, um, <laughs> I'm saying everybody, every um, special person is special in their own way. So I wouldn't consider myself as a player. I was fortunate to know a lot of people. <laughs> you understand? True, true. <laughs> Yes, I oh, think I answered that one, eh? Clay, Clay. So, um, growing up, you know, he's going to the Chapman shows, young hitman is like real action all the time, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I um, always, always love, love the, 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 the action, and um, man, I'm telling you, 
crazy times, JJ. You have a lovely <laughs> lot of words here with the times, are you? <laughs> well, you know, you got a lot of ladies locked on. They want to they know, you know, how... Going back to your young days, how old were you when you had your first girlfriend? You know, well... <laughs> you never know, she might be listening. <laughs> uh, well, uh... Hmm. That, you put them in the spot, eh? Um, well, I'll say, um... Man... Well, I've been a looker from a young age, yes? So, and I've been attracted to women since I, I could understand what, what women are, you know? So, right. who they are to us. So, yeah, I would say I started pretty young. I wouldn't go into age, you know? And, um... So, since Jay, you... what are you really doing, man? You can't be... <laughs> so, since you knew what a woman was, that's when you had your first girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. I'd say so, man. You know, and um, I, you know, here one. Women is God's gift to men. It's is 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 a beautiful, is a beautiful creation of God. And you know, I mean, I I'm, I was very fortunate to know who they are at a very young age. You know, right. and as I said, this song is gonna exp explain a lot of, a lot of hitman young days. So put it that way. So here what I will save it for you for this song. I heard his experience, which was um really crazy and fun. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so this song is like that, G. We were going back to this song because you carry me down a road there that's going to make me put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> oh. All right, you, get, you win this wrongs. You win this wrongs. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, before we get to the next one, let's hear a quick song, one of your classics here. And we'll be okay. right back with more Hitman. <laughs> yeah. You are locked on Runway Radio, and we've got the legend, the Hitman here live with us. Hitman, how's it going, boss? Yo, I'm down in the hot. How do you weather up by you? Well, it's cold up here, man. I wish I was in Trinidad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was in Trinidad. Yo, right now, I'm loving it down here. I was just, I was just telling Roshan. Roshan is sitting so quiet in the back there. Um, you know, we are like that the show the that show we had up there for the Christmas jam. Right. That was like that was like just like right. I feel like that was yesterday. So he was asking me if I come when I want to come out to New York. Ask. <laughs> but hey, Roshan, you, you make a good cup of tea, Roshan. <laughs> I was wondering if you ever left since the last time. Oh my God! You what? Where you at? Bad you on Facebook? <laughs> oh no! It's hit, not hit, it's hit not, man, it's hit not... man coming tomorrow, right? Hit man come, probably no coming way. tomorrow. <laughs> no way, dude! Hey, hit man! <laughs> hit man! Tomorrow's tomorrow's old years, New Year's Eve. You know, over here it's mm -hmm. always a big party. People, every block is a party. We got the balls dropping. What's it like in Trinidad? Yeah. What's the experience like there? What do you guys do? Well, you know what, um, it, you know what, in the in the villages is, is people have, you know, party by the house and whole night, they wake until morning. And when you go on more to the city, shop owners, you name it, all over is, you know, all the shop, all the um, bars and, and um, lining spot, water and hole, you name it, they go whole night. Trust me, Trinidadians, very happy dudes. Seriously, I just want to know sometimes, you know, uh, but to me, to me, um, being an artist, you know, normally when we go out there is for holidays. You know, sometimes at Christmas I spend in, in, in New York or maybe Guyana or some part of the world we go. You know, but right. when I get this opportunity to like be home on a holiday, coming like tomorrow night, I, I really love it. You know what I mean? So for me, tomorrow night I go be home, you know, just right. enjoying it, just being with the family. And um, But I know for a fact. Even next door, my cousins, they're going to be, that music going to be playing so loud is like, good thing my room seal off. That going to save me. Yeah, yeah. that's going to save me. You know, and sometimes they face the box to my house and just playing my songs real hard. <laughs> <laughs> they want me to come outside, you know what I mean? I just like, oh, shit, seriously. Well, I think next so, year, um, uh, next year, yeah, either so, Christmas or New Year's next year, I have to spend it in Trinidad. Yo, dude, you're welcome anytime. You know that, eh? You nice. know what I mean? You remember when I've been there for Icons, man? We had a good time, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, and, um, yo, I got to tell you, you know, big up to you and Vinod and them. That was like a, a, a real, real iconic show. Seriously. I hope you save the footage of that and keep that in your archives because it was a good job you guys did. Oh, you know? thank, thank you very much. I mean, you were a major part of that, too. And, you know, to this day, I mean, we, we just had the one year anniversary of it and people are still talking about that show. Uh, you know, yeah, it, it, it was a, it was a, a, a not a normal cast, you know. You got to mix up real good with Sparrow and, um, and uh, this guy Rupi, and then you got the Chutney guys like us, you know. what I mean, so it was well represented, right, wrong for everybody, you know. Right, it was good. Right. And the support, support really makes everybody in this industry. And, and there's one young lady. I, I doubt she's listening because I know she doesn't really 
<laughs> have much support. Uh, Indra, Indra Prashad. You think she's listening? <laughs> you think she's listening? Uh, if, well, if it's one person, I can guarantee she will be listening as her. <laughs> but, mm. but um, you know what? You know what? It's people like Indra, and um, I got my friend HD. You know what I mean? Um, Listra out there. Alvin's cuisine. Yo, good food though. I got a big up Listra if you hear me. And uh, Nikki, tell your sister Nikki, I say hi. <laughs> you understand? This mm. song is um, not for all you. <laughs> but you're going <laughs> to like it anyway. Um, seriously. So the fans, I would say friends now, Jay, because um, over the years and through this Facebook that God created, um, get you really in contact with people who you wouldn't normally talk every day with. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for the internet, you know? And it make the fans over the years become friends. You know what I mean? Genuine people and good people. And you meet a lot of good people. There are a lot of good people just as a lot of crazy people. But I think there's more good people, you know? Exactly. And the fact, Yeah, and they are friends now. So when you come into Hitman, Facebook is like, if I talk to someone there, trust me, it's like a, it's a friend, you know? So there's that respect, you know? But I know they see some crazy things over the past years with Hitman on Facebook, you know? But hey, it's me. So you can tell your musty craziness, you know? Exactly. Crazy things, crazy things gonna happen in my world, you know. But um, yeah. And you know, Big up to all the fans. You, you know? mentioned the fans. Like, the- yeah, going back when you started, uh, don't hold me back, 1996. You know, there was no Facebook, there was no YouTube. So really, the fans are the ones who made that song heard, playing it in their car, playing it at parties. Without them, you know, that that's what made the whole industry. They, there was no Facebook, there was no YouTube. No, no, there, there wasn't any. There wasn't in Trinidad here. They were maybe, we had a few radio stations. I think one or two maybe played Chapney music, you know what I mean? And um, I'll tell you this, this is what shows the power of the people. And even now, you know, without they being feed, fed by something, they, they still, you know, they are the power of the, of the artists too, you know? And when they like something, you know what I mean? It's like... Yo, this is why Hitman is here today. Because I guess if people see here and they listen to something they like, and I love singing to them, they make me happy and I make them happy. So that's why, like, releasing the song and getting an opportunity to talk and let them hear me say shout out to all these people. Suzette, don't make jokes with Suzette. There's so much of names. Allison, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Over the years. Um, today, I got to big up Sherry. Just around, that is out in um, Orlando. There. Today is her birthday. She wanted me to do a video. Yeah, you get me in a lot of trouble, eh? I did a birthday <laughs> video for you, and Sherry gonna kill me. I didn't, I'm not doing one. Sherry, you're gonna get one. You're gonna get one, baby. Short, right? She like behind me, you know? Yeah. She wanted yeah. me to sing something, you know? I know she may be locked on right now, too. Okay. You know what I mean? And it, yo, around the world, around the world, there's a lot of people. Even in New York, you know what I mean? A lot of people start making friends. Well, Guyana is home. You know what I mean? That's like, that's home. It don't make a difference for me or Trinidad if I be or Guyana is home. Because if it's say I see Guyana evolve over the over 15 years to now, you know, so I've been a part of Guyana, sing with, sing for everybody in Guyana. You name it from the politicians to the poorest people to the middle class to the richest to the bad, the good, you name it. I've been there all over, just like in Trinidad, you know? And, um, Right. It's not no. It's not no fans anymore. Jay is 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 friends. So and the fans at that time, as you said, we didn't have no internet and we didn't have no Facebook to share. So when people take a picture, sometimes I go back for a show the other month or the next month or the next year, and you used to see the peop, um, people coming up with the picture and say, "Hit man, look, this is a photograph of we back way back when." Even now, people bring pictures from Guyana, especially Guyana, and show me. And yo, I say, "Whoa." When I see how you used to look, I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. But I was a young hitman. I was like 18-year-old hitman, you know? Right, um, right. 20, yeah, 20, 21, that kind of thing. And you know what? To be singing at that time with, um, I would say, the legends of the business who are considered real legends, so now Popo was at that time. That's in, we talk about 96, 97, right? 98. Um, a time... Or oh, Chris Garcia was out there big at that time with Chutney Bacchanal and Sonny Man, right. you know, was, was big. I talk, these are the people in that time. And Anna Niankaran was still around mashing up the place, you know what I mean? You name it. That's Even right. my mom, Ramaji Prabhu too, was there. You know, Rakesh was, was there always too, you know. So I had the opportunity to learn from these guys, you know. And the fans used to come on and I was like a kid. I also feel actually like a kid in front of all of them when we perform and together on stage because it's like... I know them as, I call them uncle, you know, so, so we like right. that. And then to reach, to reach now, I'm not that old, but 
and to be still, you know, doing what I love is like wow. So big up to all the fans, everybody on Facebook, um, Abigail. Oh my gosh, that's a sweet chick name, Abigail J. Must say hi to her. You understand? Oh, big I up Abigail. Song, yeah, we're gonna dedicate this song to Abigail too. You know what I mean? So much of them out there. You know, I try to remember names here now, AJ, because I don't well, want to forget hit, anybody. Hit, man, let's not forget our, the number one Ghana Tunes fan, Miss Dark Alicia. She's locked on strong. Hey, Alicia, I'm telling you, <laughs> you're Alicia. Hey, and watch me. We got to say big up to Alicia and the whole uh, Guyana Tunes, everybody who is be on the chat. I think the, you guys, you guys have a lot of fun there. I can see that. And I must say a shout out to Shanaz, you know what I mean? I got to say sweet Shanaz. You know what I mean? I don't know what bracket Shanaz, I think, gonna fall in this song tonight. I'm not gonna say. And, um, but sweet Shanaz. Big up to her. She did, she's, she's one of the persons who's doing a, a beautiful job and promoting our music. And I say, um, keep it up, Shanaz. You did good. You know? And we have Steve, many, um, Sweet Charm in the back there. Don't forget Sweet Charm. You know? <laughs> doing a little, that, that the magic man behind the whole scene. You know? I know that. That's right. You know? He makes everything and he happen. Can make, <laughs> and he can make a real good cup of tea. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, man, he's, like, he's that all wrong guy, dude. You're doing everything, man, from show business in the kitchen. Yeah, like me. I love to cook, too. I like to go in the kitchen. You know that. Yeah. All right. Oh, boss, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to play another song, and then we'll be right back with more Hitman. Before we get into anything, very important question. What do you prefer, KFC or Popeyes? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, yeah, hey, yeah, off the air, you guys crack me up. On air, well, I don't know, man. KFC or Popeyes? Um, I love KFC. You know what? But we can't eat KFC every day, and Popeyes good too. You know, so put it this way: if I don't get, if I don't get KFC and I get Popeyes, I wouldn't miss. If I don't get KFC and I get Popeyes, I wouldn't miss KFC. So, so you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the bread is good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, we, we needed to know that, and I know all your fans needed to know that as well. Hey, in New York, watch me. You see, in New York, where I used to live, I think on 95th Avenue, somewhere around there, in Liberty up there, right? That was a Chinese place. I used to go by where, where, or, um, where Sassy and them live in, Joseph Ramutan and them. Right. Just, yeah, years ago, I used to live there with them too. And when they had an apartment, I used to rent there, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, we used to be in 94th by Mohan Jaikar and we used to be, we had a, 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 a complex on top, we used to be there. That is in 94th. So we used to go and get a chicken lo mein. I think that place is still there because every time I go back to New York, I just go and buy a chicken lo mein. I just try to go and buy a chicken lo mein from that place. That is right across from Joseph Ramutanem on the left hand. I think that's left foot. No, oh, 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 101. Yeah, that's Lefferts, Yeah, that's right. Lefferts, right? Yeah. yeah, it's on Lefferts. Right at the junction, they're on your right, on your left, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Trust me, dude. I don't know, but I just love how these people could make that. When I go to New York anytime and I could get it, I go and get it. Oh, and you know what I like to get too? When I'm up in New York, I like to get a, um, a deli sandwich. Yeah, yeah I remember that. that. I, rem- I remember when I picked <laughs> yeah. you up, the first thing, we had to go get a deli sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, I pick up a good hit, man, because normally it used to be the first thing we go to a bar. Uh-huh. So thank you for thank you for clearing up that and show people a change a little bit, okay? <laughs> well, there you go. Big up to you for that. that that's respect right there. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Jay, for bringing that to the light, there. You know? <laughs> hey, good things, yeah. good things. A, oh, a uh, deli sandwich, right? A deli sandwich. I just love a deli sandwich, especially with the ham. I just make them put like all different kind of sausages because there's there's like slices so thin. Right. So we just put all kind of stuff in it. You know what I mean? That's thing. Yo, I went out up in Orlando. You understand? You mm-hmm. gotta check out Listra's. You know what I mean? Listra have it crazy. Alvin Cuisine, one of my favorite places to stop and eat something. You know what I mean? Then I go to Sings. There's an next one up there in Orlando. Right. Beautiful. Right? Miami got a lot of places too. You, you trust me. Miami got a lot of places to Sings down there. Couple other places real nice. You know what I mean? And I love to like try all the East, the West Indian kind of food because it's, it tastes slightly different when they try to cook it like local. But it's good. You understand? True, very true. Even even the doubles out there. Hey, I don't well sings in, in in New York. Well, obviously that's a f- everybody favorite. You know what I mean? So, we, very true. Food, food, food with me is like you know, seriously. Uh, and Canada got some Canada got some real nice places too. You know what I mean? Mm. Nice food place, something you know, nice place to hang out. You know what I mean? You and when make- I, when, you know when I. 
Yeah, you know, I yeah. wouldn't go into the lime part of the thing, but you know, the food is good. <laughs> You're making all of us hungry in the studio now, and now we have to order some food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if I tell you something, I time I went to, to, to when I went to um, in um, Holland, right? They had this this um, what do you call it? The, the sushi is right, a whole uh. street with sushi both sides so this thing looking so nice with all colors and it looking like it well cooked but i know it's not cooked so i'm so greedy with myself i go take a plate and a fully plate and i buy this whole thing and sit down on a table and when i start eating this thing one try one is because i couldn't eat no more because it's, everything was raw <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it looks so good you know and i guess people there's people who love it eh? but i wanted to try it, it it's so, good. Yeah. yeah it depends who makes it once it's made right i think it's pretty good yeah, no, it's good. Trust me, I'm sure it's good because it had so much. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you remember, you're taking a Caribbean boy here who's going to try it, with that, which I tried it drunk different places when I used to be high. You know? I guess I eat it that time and I didn't even know what it really <laughs> tastes like, you know? Oh, you know, so, boss, we, when me and you chat, we can chat till the sun comes up. But I think we made your, your fans wait long enough, boss. It, it, it's, hey, 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 is you and Roshan came into this food thing, eh? <laughs> All right, good. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> well, we made the so fans anyway, as, wait. Hey, uh. as you talk about as you talk about food, we got this a shout out to, to, to Master Chef Steven. You know what I mean? One of my good bros, you know what I mean? I think this song relate to him too. So we should get into the song because they're really gonna be upset with us talking business. And don't forget, don't forget John from Queens, the man. Man, I was here. Yeah, see, uh, the save the safety, one of the best for last. He's one of the best for last, of course. That's the original, John from Queens, you know. And, and you know what? I'm so happy to be kind of seeing how John growing over the over the little time there and the years with his thing, you know, and he's getting really better and he's good, he's like great right now. So hats out to John. That's one of my bro, you know, you know that? That's, That's one right. of my bro. And Sharon Locha. Can't forget her, you know. She's like Sharon, big up. That's hey, we gotta right. go into the song boy, they're gonna kill us. They're gonna kill us. Let's do it. Alright, well I want you to introduce the song. Tell us a little bit and let's run it well i think they know i think i think i was this whole week i was like giving them little ideas of the verse as i said it is not no not no it's not fast to like make you go crazy it's a so but you gotta listen to the story it's real crazy and um i hope they love it hitman say big up the small people who support me over the years it's just good chutney music batman just drop it on them boom here we go Young boy growing up, when I was a young boy growing up, it had this woman always tell me, what? Young boy, won't you pass by me? Ah, I was 18, she was 34. When I this, I went back for more. This woman always turned and tell me, Anytime boy, pass by me. Love, I want you, honey, want you, darling, want you pass. Let's 
get to find out nothing but my girlfriend big mommy father call me phone and tell me boy I say do pass by she otherwise do come back by me what when I was a young boy growing up when I was a young boy growing up I had this woman always tell me young boy won't you pass by me I was 16 she was 34 when I this I went back for mother's woman always turn and tell me anytime boy pass by me love I want you honey want you yes, darling want you A brand new release, young boy from the man hit man. And when they say don't hold this man back, they mean it. You can see that. Big up to you, hit man. <laughs> Great song. I love it. Yo, we gotta say there's a lot of people responsible, man. We gotta say big up to Bounty Target Studios. You know what I mean? Um, did a wonderful job. I gotta big up Roshan did a beautiful flyer for this thing for you guys tonight. Roshan is a, is a boss. Um, I gotta say big up to NSM, um, Richie, out there in Orlando. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Everybody in Orlando. You know, that I got a lot of friends up there. A lot of people who real should be nice when I go up there. Big up to all of them who's listening. Um, in Miami, there's a lot of people down there too. You know what I mean? Fort Lauderdale. Um, show Hitman a lot of love over the years. Not now, over the years. Um, in New York City, where you guys at? In Queens there. Um, you know, lots of love going from Hitman to everybody up there. A lot of friends up there over the years, you name it. Trust me, a lot of friends in New York. Um, all these places, all these clubs, all these um, eating places, you know, me know, know the bosses, the owners, big up to them. Um, all the people who interact on Facebook, you know what I mean? They know who they are. Um, and if I miss anybody's name, I apologize. Um, people out in Canada, I got a lot of people tell me they was going to lock down tonight because they saw the, um, the thing on Facebook. Um, people in Canada, I love you, a lot of Canadians asking me when I'm coming, you know what I mean, not, not before it's time. So I will see me out there soon. And you know, it's just Trinidad, you know, big up to Trinidad and Guyana, you know, Guyana too. Everybody locked on around the world, Jason. Absolutely. And you know, this song is great, it's going places. And it, man, I, I know this song, it got you into the semi-finals for the Chutney Soka Monarch for Soka Chutney. Let's talk a little bit about that. Well, that, that was a, a kind of unexpected happening, you know what I mean? Um, I gotta say, I wanted a person who really responsible for me actually taking part is Bounty Target, you know what I mean? He been, he's like, hit man, why you don't go with the song? Tomorrow is the deadline, Monday, go. And he's like telling me that a couple days now, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and right. like, tomorrow is the And I really, I wouldn't say I wasn't planned, um, preparing for it, but the song was there. And I know the song got a lot of potential because of the song. And with Bounty Target Push, you gotta say big up the Indra Push. And this like most two people who know about I was going to enter. And here we are, we're in the semi-finals. So, you know what I mean? We're just gonna do what we gotta do. So it's nothing new. The Chuck the Monarch is nothing new to Liet Man. But it's always, a, a, you know, it's always butterfly in your stomach because it's a big thing, you know? So I'm ready. I'm gonna do what I gotta do, you know? And all the people who are supporting and um, congratulating me on my Facebook, I gotta say thank you. The Chuck the Monarch is nothing new to Liet Man. But it's always a, a, you know, it's always butterflies in your stomach because it's a big thing, you know. So I'm oh, ready. Yeah. I'm gonna do what I gotta do, you know. And all the people who supporting and um, congratulating me on my Facebook, you know, I'm, 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 I don't really count egg and chicken belly to it that way. But I got some ideas and some stuff that I wanted to do over the years. And where I'm at in my music career right now, I don't have do anything that I, you know what I mean, or have to be there, or have to be there to, to, it's not about running down the fame. So what I had planned over the years and I couldn't do it, this year, by the grace of the Lord, the Almighty, I'm going to do some of them stuff. So look out, it's going to be a crazy year with it, man. Absolutely, I mean, we got our eyes on you, and I'm sure all your fans have their eyes on you, so respect to you, Hitman. And, uh, you know, all good things do come to an end, boss, and our time is running out here. So before we before we end this, it's always a pleasure having you here in Runway Radio, Studio One, Guyana Tunes. Anything you want to say to the fans before we call it a night? Yo, love you guys. 
love Facebook, love all the people on Facebook, big up to everybody, and um, enjoy the rest of the year, and start the good year, the new year on a good foot, you know what I mean, and let me just dance to some good shit, the music. Ooh, me done now. Well, once again, Hitman, the legend, the icon, there he is. Brand new release, young boy. Hey, 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 yo, DJ, I, yeah. I, I couldn't forget somebody. I'm I gonna forget his name. Um, I don't know where, but she down there in in Miami, you know, my cousin Denise. She's been she been writing me holy and texting me and congratulating me on this on Chuck Moore thing. And I'm um, big up to Denise down there. And girl, this is for all the cool guys. She says she's a cool girl. Well, take it, girl, take it. <laughs> oh, and before you go. One more question I wanted to ask you. Hey, hey, I'm afraid. I have to phrase with you for your question. <laughs> on, 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 your, on your flyer, the new flyer for this song, for Young Boy, in the middle of your two pictures, there's a young lady. Who's that, who's that young lady? <laughs> well, I, well, I will say, if, if you say it's a young lady, that got to be the girlfriend. You know? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, make, make sure yeah, you... Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so, you know, to see if you want to put her in touch with guy on the tunes and runway radio, my door is yeah, always yeah. open. I, I see that. I see you, you, you highlight these ladies and I'm very nice to you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I see you highlight them, um, them models and them. And you know, big up to all them girls you, that you have in, 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 in hey, what about Renu uh, Ren fashion? Big up to Renu, you know? Absolutely. Um, you, know, guys, you guys do a, a, a marvelous job. And I hope she's listening. And you know what? Always, I always support her, you, and the whole team. Okay? From the girls, especially the girls come back. <laughs> 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 so you have a nice night, Jay, okay? I give the people some good chatty music. I'll be up to my boy Roshan in the back here. Roshan, cup of tea, boy. Take one now. No respect, Prabhuji. You're a good one, Roshan. Keep it up, and you know, bless you and Ghana. Tunes and everybody out there who locked on. You know what I mean? You only just do our thing again. All right. Always, uh, always a pleasure to have you, have you here, part of the family. Yeah, man. Okay, so you guys enjoy the night and give them some good music. All right, then. All right, so we're going to buzz that tune again, right, Jay? That's right, and Hitman, on behalf of myself, Roshan, and everyone here at Guyana Tunes, Happy New Year to you and the family, and we'll be hearing from you soon. Beautiful. Take care, man.